Hey, it's Wabbit. Good to be back with you. All right. Um, first, hope you're doing well. And uh, let me say a couple things that are a little important before you get into this video. I am doing my best, and I hope not to confuse you. Uh, this is the one area of the Oxy that, to be honest with you, I'm struggling a bit. It's not because of Oxy or, or the gear. It's really my knowledge in trying to learn CV and gate, uh, dipping my toes into the modular world. And I'm going to be honest with you, it's a bit of a struggle. Uh, there have been some people that have been asking um, for a kind of a video like this. And I really hope that you <laughs> are much further along. And my goal is to really kind of talk you through what I've learned and, and see in the menu. Uh, I'm going to do my best not to get into the weeds of the theory and what things mean, because again, I'm learning it. So hopefully you see what I'm showing you and you're like, if I got it, I understand it and you can run with it. Um, I also don't work for Oxy. I'm not sponsored. There's no affiliation. Uh, I am not trying to sell this on you. Um, and I say this because I know that people may come across this video and try and decide, is this for them? So this may not be the best video in terms of showing you everything that it can do. Now, I've sat down, I've looked at the manual, I've basically plugged and pushed buttons, um, asked questions, and I'm still learning. So maybe down the road, another video will come. But I wanted to kind of try and go over some of the basics, explain what you can do, brief demonstration of some things, try and keep it super high level. And I really, really hope that this helps versus confuses you. And this is where I'm gonna lean on you uh, I assume you know more than myself, so if there's something that you can offer in the comment section, please, please, please um, do so. Let me talk about the gear and the connections here. Um, off camera up here, sorry, I can't uh, look, I got to get my fingers right there in the, the camera, is the Behringer Crave. Uh, this is my attempt to dip into the semi-modular world. Uh, I don't know if this is the best gear for this. Um, but this is, you know, I bought this used fairly, fairly cheap, so it didn't really break the bank. Um, and then, obviously, I have the Oxy. Um, the audio out is coming from the Crave into an audio interface. I just have it, excuse me, a, a mixer. I just have it going through some speakers, and I'm just recording this on the iPhone directly into the microphone. So um, I didn't think really audio was really important for this video. Uh, and then patch cables. So the Oxy does not come with patch cables. Um, wouldn't expect it to. So either you have your own or you need to buy some. And for those of you, that one thing I do know, they're basically uh, mono cables. So like these, um, you don't have to get the right angle ones. I just happen to have a few. So these are the cables that you need. Um, on the back, there are um, eight uh, CV outputs and eight gate inputs. Now I'm I would defer you to the manual if you want to know exactly what comes out of that. Again, this is all stuff that I'm learning. So, again, you can go to the website. I'll put a link to their website, and the manual can give you the particular specs. Again, I'm trying not to get too in the weeds of that. So refer to the manual if that's something important to you because that's one thing that I've learned uh, when it comes to CV. Things are not uh, – there's no standard. That's as far as I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> so again, eight um, CV, eight uh, gate uh, out of the back. Also on the back, you're going to notice something called a pipe. I'll just briefly touch upon that. And one thing that I've learned, uh, the, the, the purpose of that is basically uh, you have to buy another piece of gear and there's a cable you can plug from the pipe to that. And basically that's better cable management because if you think about it, if you start plugging in all of your patch cables into here, that's going to be a, a pretty messy uh, cable situation. So that's the purpose of the pipe, in case you're curious. I don't have that. Uh, again, I'm, I'm really trying to um, not go down the rabbit hole any further, but that might be something um, down the road. All right. So I've got, uh, just for this video purposes, I have CV uh, 1 and 2. Uh, 1 is going into the uh, oscillator CV of the Crave, two is going into the oscillator mod, and then gate one is going into the envelope gate. All right, 
So a couple things here. Uh, there are, again, four sequencers here on the Oxy, and each of these sequencer has its own LFO. There's two, and it has four mod lanes. Uh, so those work in conjunction with the CV gate. There may be other things that work with it, but that's as far as I'm going to go. So again, I'm not really sure about randomization, those kind of things. You know, defer you to the manual um, in terms of other things. But that's what I've learned so far. Now, I want to let's see. I'm going to try and keep this super simple. Let's get to the CV gate section, and in order to do that, you hit Shift. And it's the LFO button. It says CV gate, and that brings you here. So I'm going to do what I like to do here and chop <laughs> the oxy in half. So this is the CV side. You basically, again, this row here corresponds to CV 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 8. So there's your 8 across. Now what I want to do is chop this down even further. And remember I said that there are four sequencers on the Oxy. So in the CV gate mode, this very top row here, these first eight, correspond to sequencer one. This one, now if you notice here, if I tap on that, let me turn it back on, it says CV one. If I do sequencer one, sorry. If I do the next one, it says sequencer two, that corresponds to sequencer two sequencer three and four. So that's important to know in terms of the layout. You've got eight CV gates and each row corresponds to the sequencer. Now I'm not going to demonstrate all that stuff because to me that's where it gets uh, a little mind bending and, and I, I think it's important when you're working on this device and it's not just with gates. I, I, I've talked about this matricial mode. It's important to really just focus on one thing. Don't get too carried away. Get the fundamentals down first, and I, I think that will, will really help you out. All right, so that is the top section. All right, now the bottom section. So everything down here, again, these four correspond to here. These are basically different options that you have. So notice here the first one that's lit up this is your pitch. And I'm just going to talk you through what's here. I'm still working and learning, you know, in terms of what I need to hook up and connect. So I'll, I'll play some stuff later. But again, I, I, I'm still learning this stuff, so I don't want to confuse you. So the voice. So basically because sequencer one, I'm going to push on here so it'll back out. Sequencer one is mono. So let's come back to shift CV gate. That's why it says one voice. If I come to number two, sequencer two, notice I can change the voice because it's back out of here. Sequencer two is now poly. On a multi-track, when I go to CV gate, again, this is now sequencer four, it says track. And this will make sense a little bit later on. All right, so let's go back to number one. So again, this is your pitch corresponding. We're on sequencer one, and there's only one voice. You've got your op your offset, and I'm just going to show you. If I go all the way up, it says 48 st, and <clears throat> excuse me, minus. <clears throat> excuse me. Hang on a second. Uh, breaking one of my own rules. Got to get some coffee. And minus 48 st. And then you've got three types. Uh, my understanding is volt per octave is the standard, so to speak. Then you can do hertz slash volt and 1.2 volts. Again, that's as far as I'm going to go. <laughs> Leave it up to you. You probably know what all that means. So that is the pitch. The next option, if I hold that or push that down, you notice it says velocity. And there's just one option here, gated on or off. Then I've got trig envelope. I've got an attack that goes from 0 to 100. And then my attack mode, LFO 1, 2, and mod 1, 1 2, 3, 4. Let me um, pause here for a second while we're on this. So, again, each sequencer has two LFOs 
and four mod lanes. That's what you saw here. And then you've got a sustain that goes from zero to 100%. And again, I'm still learning how all that works and relates in relationship to the gear. And that's the other thing too. I only imagine this probably varies based on what you have. And I don't have a modular rack. I don't have any, any of those type of things. So I, I'm, I'm a little limited in terms of what I can do. Last one is modulation. So notice now here on the type, again, I have LFO 1, 2, and then mod 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I can offset that. And these basically, it looks at the parameters that you have selected on the LFO. While we're here, let's go ahead and go over and do that. So when I tap LFO, this is LFO 1. When I tap it again, that's LFO 2. And it just tells you up here, 2 of 2. And now I'm back out. So LFO 1. I've got all these different wave options, so triangle, square, ramp up, fall, line, gated. You can kind of figure that out. You've got your rate, your amount. I wouldn't really worry too much about the internal destination offer on for this purposes. And then same thing, so depending on what you set. And then the mod, again, you have different options here. And I'm going to go back to sequencer one. I'm using the expressive. We'll get into this here in a little bit when I hit the play button. So again, whatever parameters you set here, it will recognize if you select the modulation option. So in recap, you've got your CV gate, this first one out here, we're on sequencer one, and then down below you have four options, pitch, velocity, trig envelope, and modulation. The other thing that I've noticed too, let's say that I'm on this one here and I have everything set up. Say I'm going to go with modulation four and I'm playing. If I turn this off, now again, this is something that may be in the settings. So um, if I'm if I am, am incorrect in this, please in the comment section, let me know. I didn't find this in the manual. If I turn that off and turn it back on, it defaults to here and I had to come down. So just an FYI. All right, so again, once you understand the basics, the exact same thing repeats for all these eight, okay? So that's where, again, you can kind of use your imagination in terms of where you patch your stuff here. Do you want to use sequencer two, four, take advantage of the different tracks, voices? Again, that's where things can get a little mind-bending, and, and I want to kind of keep it very simple. All right, that's the CV side. 12 minutes already, wow. <laughs> All right, now let's ignore that, and let's take a look at the gate side. All right, so same concept. Let's uh, do this. <laughs> All right, now we're on the gate side. The exact same thing. Sequencer 1, this row here, sequencer 2, 3, and 4. I have sequencer 4 highlighted. So again, exact same concept. Now down on the bottom, we just have two options. So we're going to need to see the screen here. When I push that, it's basically this is my trig, and there's only... Uh, now, again, I'm on multi-track because I'm on sequencer four. That's why you see track one through eight or all. And I'm using track four to send my triggers. Again, I may be speaking incorrectly, but that I'm trying to learn all this stuff. So my understanding is gate is kind of sending, you know, triggers or piano key notes, so to speak. And again, I'm, I'm going to stop right there because I'm probably going to screw it up. But yeah, that's what I'm using Sequencer 4 for. So when I tap on that, that's why you see track and all. If I went to Sequencer 1, notice again, same kind of concept. It says Voice 1 here because Sequencer 1 is a mono track. So let's come back here. And then the only other type that I have are V-Trig and S trig, and again, I will leave that to the subject matter experts who know what the difference are there. And then the other option that I have, or the only other option, is clock. And from what I found, based on what my tempo is, I'm sending out clock um, via the gate. There's nothing down here on these two. So to recap, basically it's the same thing over here on the gate. You just pick whatever sequencer that you want to use, but you only have two choices, either trig and clock. So that is the high level of the CV gate settings. 
Um, there may be stuff in the menu. I haven't, when I say menu, the configuration, I haven't really dove in there um, to, to find out. So what I want to do now, let's turn off that one here. I want to make sure I'm on sequencer one. So we're on sequencer one here and we've got sequencer four here for the gate. Let's go ahead and select that. And let me hit play, turn my volume down first and I'll bring it back up. All right, let's talk about what's going on here. So again, I'm on the CV gate side. Each time there is a trigger via the gate, you see that little flashing pulse there. If I come to sequencer four, You see it's hitting on each of these steps. Now these, you're like where's the sound for that? So let's come back to the CV gate and I push on that. This is what I'm referring to. It's only sending um, the gates on track one. This is track one. So if I come back to CV gate and I do all, Now it's playing all of those. All right, so let's come back here, bring that back down to one. The other thing that I can do um, on each step that I have figured out so far, if I hold this down, I can change the gate parameter on here. Changing the note doesn't do anything. Changing the velocity doesn't do anything from what I found. All right. So that is taking use of the gate. And again, then on the device, I can use the knobs to adjust the sound um, and that sort. Okay, so let's hit play again. Let's come back to sequencer one. And I'm gonna tap this first one here. Again, remember this is going into the oscillator CV. So now I'm on pitch. And then if I want to change now in my testing here, I'm not noticing any difference. And again, maybe this is where I'm doing something wrong, but right now I'm at zero ST. So I'm not really noticing a difference there. Here's my velocity. Gate is off, on, trig envelope. And again, it's probably what I have going into might not be the right patch point. And then here's my modulation. So you can hear that LFO again based on the setting that I have here. Bringing the amount down, I can change the rate. And then I can come back here. Now my mod four, which is the expression you can see here, I can actually use the modulation again, based on whatever patch I have going into here. And that's where I will leave it up to you. Again, the person who most likely knows more than me. Again, I just wanted to kind of give you the fundamentals. Okay, this is how I get to that. This is what this does. And then if you are much further along with patch cables and how things work, then you can take this and run, hook it up to whatever gear you have. But hopefully this gives you an understanding of where things are, you know, how many you have, what you can do with LFO and modulation, um, and then let you run into the weeds. Again, I'm still learning. So um, I really, really hope that none of this confused you. Um, if you have a question, um, I'm hesitant to say, <laughs> put it down below because again, I'm learning this stuff. Um, feel free to do it. Um, I can try and answer it. There's a good chance that I won't or be able to, and hopefully somebody else who knows more than me can do that. Um, I will also put a link uh, to the Discord, uh, or excuse me, to the Oxy website that has their Discord link there. Um, there's a lot more smarter people that, that know some things. But again, I wanted to put a video out that, that focused really on these things, the, the various CVs and out, because a lot of people are using the pipe and, and, I, and I can see the benefit of that. 
But again, this is what I have, and, and I wanted to throw this out there. All righty. Thank you for your time if you're still here. Stay safe. Get out there. Have a lot of fun. Keep your head on a swivel, and I do hope to catch you in another video. And until then, take care.